So, good afternoon, everybody. I'm bringing to you um, some more inspirations. I call God's Yellow Pages. Uh, any spiritual guidance for where to look when you're going through this issue. So, today's issue... Darn it, where is it? Today's issue is on when you feel discouraged. And this will be from Philippians chapter 4, verses 4 through 7. Uh, this book was written by Paul, the Apostle of Paul. And it was about when there was a church in the city of Philippi, a colony of retired Roman soldiers. The Philippians became Paul's friends and supporters for the rest of his life. So basically what has happened at this time is there's a lot of opposition. And he was appealing to his own life as an example of how to respond to hardship. You know, how to have joy. So he urges the Philippians to have a servant attitude that Jesus had. He did not grasp the high position, but humbled himself even to the point of death. All for the sake of others. This is the new way to be human that is revealed in God's kingdom. Our citizenship is in God's realm and we eagerly await the Savior's return. He will transform our lowly bodies to become like his glorious resurrected body. Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again. Rejoice. Let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. So, when I think of this last part, the whole key of it is that it transcends human thinking. We, we come to understanding something through our own devices. And the thing is, I think more people do need to be gentle and speak to each other out of love, not out of envy, hatred, malice, you know, jealousy. And, you know, it's easy in this time, it's getting worse and worse. It's easy for people to get discouraged and if there's any other passages you want to look at, um, some of the suggestions were Psalm 23, Psalm 42, verses 6 through 11, Psalm 55, verse 22, Matthew chapter 5, uh, verses 11 and 12, and also 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verses 8 through 18. Um, I could do a further discussion and inspiration I could read from there. Um, I'm thinking right now my schedule will be for May 8th, which is Mother's Day. I'm thinking of doing the Friends Fail. So if anybody, you know, you have friends that are, you know, discouraging you, not being there for you, uh, I'll be looking at 2 Timothy chapter 4 verses 16 to 18. And then the following week, uh, May 15th, I am looking at Matthew 8, verse 26. And then May 22nd, I am intending to look at some passages from Hebrews chapter 11. Um, it doesn't have any specific ones. And I will get back to you more about that, and I'll post some information as I need to, you know, for each session. Um, that's what I'm planning to do for the next uh, three Sundays. And I'm not sure exactly what time I'll upload this. Um, I have some dinner plans for May 8th. Um, I'm doing a race Saturday, a 5K. Um, and I still don't know if I'm doing the run part of it or walk. Because I'm not sure how they're going to do that. If there's going to be a separate section for walkers. Uh, May 22nd, I'm also doing a race that day, and um, 
I might not be able to do my upload until that evening or later later when I get home from the event. Um, so yeah, if there's anything else anybody knows of from the Bible that they read to help them when they feel discouraged, feel free to leave a comment down below. And um, hopefully I didn't read too fast and hopefully this was encouraging to you. Um, yeah, I just, I'm just a little bit sleepy today. I'm still recuperating from, I don't know, I didn't really party, per se, after the event. Um, had a couple of bananas. Could have had some oranges, but I didn't do that. And, yeah. So, just keep on, you know, chucking through life. And, you know, I'm sure you probably have other sources of books or whatever media that you read to help you if you're discouraged. I just thought, you know, this is a one good way to, you know, do this. So thanks for tuning in.